Hi, I'm Hans van der Kwast from IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to explain how to join a Mapathon. First of all, you go to openstreetmap.org. There you can sign up. You can fill in the form to make an account. In this video I'll use my existing account. After logging in, you go to tasks.hotosm.org. This is the website with all the tasks for the Mapathon. There you click Login. Here you can authorize access to your OpenStreetMap account. Once you've done that, you are logged in. Now you can click Start Mapping. Here on the right side in the tiles you see the different mapping projects that are used in mapathons or that are initiated by the Red Cross or other organizations to uh, have volunteers mapping areas. If you join a mapathon normally you get a project number. Here you can search directly for the project number. Let's use this project. Here you see a description, you see it's urgent, you see how many mappers are active, and you get here all the instructions uh, to map. It's very important to read that. Now here on this uh, interactive map, you find the tiles that are ready to be mapped. The yellow ones are already done. The green ones are validated by the validators. The purple ones are invalidated. And uh, once you have a tile, it will be locked for others, and the one in with a dark blue border is uh, locked by yourself. So this one uh, concurrent mapper is now doing this one. And uh, if you want to start mapping, you click here on uh, Map. You can either select a tile yourself, or you can say select a random task. I'll do that. Now this is selected, the one with the yellow border, and then I can click Start Mapping. Here in the Mapathons we usually use the standard ID editor. For more advanced use you can use other editors. The ID editor is the editor of OpenStreetMap. I click Start Editor and it goes to OpenStreetMap. There you will see a satellite image in the background and a purple border. The purple border is the tile within you are going to map the features. If you zoom in you see the things that other people already have mapped. Buildings. You can change the background imagery and you choose the best one for your purpose. Here we use the standard digital globe imagery. Now we can digitize the area. It's important to digitize the building footprint. After digitizing the area you double click and you click right on the border and you square. And then we choose building features, building. If we are unknown to the area, we always choose building and then other people can later add ground information to it and categorize the buildings to houses or schools or industry or other features. Once you have uh, uh, tagged it and squared it, you can save it and here you can put a command. If you are in a mapathon, the commands will already be put there from the Hot OSM Task Manager. You can always check this box that somebody reviews your edits and then you say upload. And from then on that building is on a map. Now when you complete your task you go back to the hot tasking manager and uh, there if you have really completed all the buildings which we haven't done in this case 
you click here mark as completely mapped if you are just done with it you say stop mapping so other people can continue with your task you can always leave a comment here if the task was really too big then you can split it so there will be subtitles uh, that other people can do or you can report if the imagery is really bad so it's always important to give all that information yeah so here I say stop mapping and then you can choose another tile or close so I hope uh, with this information you can uh, easily join mapathons and uh, try to help getting lots of features on the map especially in vulnerable areas <laughs>